What's up, everyone? Welcome to the second episode of Ling Investor to Grandmaster. Our score is currently 1-1, which means we have gotten our first loss, or our fastest loss ever, I should say, in a challenge. That sounds a bit worrying, but I still believe we could get Grandmaster. And if anything, this has motivated me more, because now getting Grandmaster would feel even more amazing. Let's begin. First game of the day is going to be against a Terran player on Solaris. Now, what I learned from the last episode is that... It is probably not the best idea necessarily. Now, we do know that's not going to stop me, of course. But it's not the best idea necessarily to rush the Investor. So what kind of happens is... The Investor, especially after losing the Infested Terran ability, they really are mostly a support unit. They're very, you know, strong and powerful support unit. But if you're going to make... I don't know how many freaking Investors I built. I think like 55 or something. If you're going to make 55 Investors, they... Yeah, they do die to a couple Zealots. So <laughs> you're going to have to be careful with that a little bit. I think, even though I'm going to keep experimenting, I think that there's two ideas that could help me a lot. I think the first idea is that playing a more thoroughly defensive macro game is going to be the best strategy. Kind of like, think like the, the, the Zerg equivalent of playing like mass planetary siege tank kind of thing. Because if I make mass poor spines everywhere with creep and have a lot of investors, I think that could work pretty well. Like they're going to have a hard time attacking. And then at the same time, I can use a lot of Nidusis to use my Zerglings, use my investors maybe to fungal some workers, something like that. And the other idea was just to go for a more heavy Zergling beginning. So I can go for like a quick lair, get double upgrades, get a third base, and then after that, start going for the investors. I think both of those ideas would work pretty well. Um, and that, I at least I want to guess. I mean, with the Terran challenges, I have a way better idea because I've done so many of them, right? With that, I just know if it's like a somewhat defensive composition, we're going to go for the 5cc setup, put a bunch of planetaries everywhere, and that's it. But with Zerg, I do still have to figure it all out, but those sound like they could work for me now, obviously i still want to figure out like every single aggressive build there's possible i also still want to try steal someone's probe and making like a sky toss army that would also be freaking awesome i mean yeah i asked you guys and you guys said anything that i get from my investor users i can use so if i make a fully fledged sky toss army that's uh that's allowed so that's that's fantastic i can play ling investor carrier disruptor how does that sound guys sounds pretty fantastic to me doesn't it now, I haven't seen anything on the map yet, which is a little weird. Oh, I have to pause the game because there's someone on the door. One second. Oh, I don't have a pause button on my keyboard. <laughs> All right, I have returned. Now, I have not... Okay, thank goodness I actually looked at my money because I would have not started those queens. I kind of thought I started those queens already, but there we go. Gonna make a couple zerglings. Our opponent is definitely doing something a little weird. Like, we didn't notice... Okay, guys, I'm gonna guess... That this is a one base cyclone already okay just this looks weird it looks like he's trying to deny the overlord i'm just gonna fly in i'll make a spine crawler already uh, this looks like a one base cyclone to me or like a five racks i think it's gonna be either of those things so there's a it has a tech lab on it Wait, what is that for is it gonna get cyclone speed okay now i'm really confused i knew it was something weird but what is, what is the tech lab for? I thought we were going to see, like, double reactor. I bet there's also a factory somewhere across the map. Now, luckily for me, I'm allowed to make Zerglings. And Zerglings are the literal best unit I can build against something like this. So, uh, or, well, yeah. I, I, actually, I think it is. Against anything he can do, I feel like Zerglings are the best. Now, I did forget what the rule of the queens were that we decided on. I think the rule was that I could make six queens, perhaps. Or a lot of you also suggested I could make infinite queens as long as I don't attack with them, which I... I guess would also be pretty interesting uh, i'm just sitting here making mass links because i'm sure there's something really weird going on i just have no idea what it is also wouldn't be too surprised if it's a battle cruiser but to be honest a battle cruiser you can't counter with queens as long as you just make enough of them so and so far i'm doing a good job of making queens like i don't think i stopped for too long so that's all right now i made this spine crawler okay so what the hell is going on here I mean, should I start making investors already so I can neural his, like, one base battle cruiser? Or, like, what's... I, I actually don't know. It could technically be a banshee as well. Oh, no, he's moving out with the marines. He, he has widow mines. Oh, he made a tank and widow mines. Can I split well enough? There we go. Pretty decent split. I'll get the widow mine as well. And now I suppose... Um, I, I think my next step should be to make a lair. 
or to make spores. I think I'm just going to make spores because my opponent lost his units. I, I barely have... It it's really stupid to say this, but I barely have workers. My opponent has more workers than me. I was expecting I was expecting something so drastic uh, that we would never really, you know, have to make more workers than that. Let's do a little bit of a split. There we go. Just going to kill every Marine that I can find. I already have freaking six queens right now. I guess I'll make a lair as well. Dude, every time so far, I think every game we play with the Ling Investor, my plan just kind of falls apart. Okay, so it looks like it is cloaked banshee so the lair plus the spores is gonna do pretty well for us so it was kind of like a one 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 i wonder if this build this build realistically or no i shouldn't say realistically i should say theoretically is not that not that strong like you shouldn't play one-on-one -on -one like this against zerg but i wonder if you realize that every zerg is just terrified of the cycle and on plays like this and then he does like a later all-in follow-up you know i wouldn't be surprised now i do think i scouted all the bases on the map right like i don't want this to be a hidden expansion kind of thing he's not going to find the spore and he's not going to be super happy seeing that wait did he not kill that i thought he was going to kill one drone but he might have just uh, clicked on the wrong one because at this point the best thing i can do is just make a bunch more queens take my third base and then uh, i suppose we'll go I could either go into investors right away. You know, I actually have another idea. I would like to... I'm going to make one over here. I would like to kind of try to finish this game off with like a massive Ling drop. Like I know it's Ling Investor, uh, but I also, you know... I feel like the investors kind of have the emphasis, but I also would like to put the emphasis on the Zergling sometimes. And going for like a massive link drop against someone playing this defensive with tanks, but doesn't actually have that many small units. Could be a really, really cool strategy. At this point, I do imagine... Wait, can I surround that perfectly? No, I'm barely not going to be able to kill that, I think. Oh, that's actually so close. Cyclones, they're super good at kiting. Mm, excuse me. But they're also incredibly flimsy. Now, how many overlords do I want? I think I want to go for... Four is the first idea that I had. I feel like 32 links, four overlords would be a pretty significant amount. I think that would kill anything that's not, like, particularly prepared. I think you could put it that way. So I'm just going to morph these already, because why not? Oh, I just realized my overseers are going to be super fast with the speed upgrade. That's quite nice. I need a couple more links. Oh, we're actually almost already there. And links, links do build quite fast. And now I think I'm going to go for the double Evo. Let's see, we're almost at 32 links. I'm also going to get Burrow, because Burrow is an upgrade that I just... I feel like every time I want to play Zerg, if there's something I want to experiment with, I feel like it should probably have Burrow. Because Burrow is just such a cool upgrade. And here we go. 32 links. Actually, thinking about it, I could have uh, flown those across a little bit faster. So I have six queens. I'm going to leave it at the six queens for now. Just because I'm not 100% sure what the rules are actually going to be for this. So I guess with these links, I'll just do a little bit of distracting. And then these are all going to go into the main. And then I'll get my double upgrades, which I can't afford yet. Because the carapace upgrade is a little bit more expensive. Oh, actually, wait, I killed that with his tank shot. Okay, that's actually messed up. I kind of feel bad because I totally know that Pain is a Terran player. Okay, that is not the right base to go to. Here we go. Um, now, do I just... I think I make more more drones for now. I'm going to make an infestation pit just in case, I think. Wait, he's still making Banshees. I, I can advise you guys to not do that because Banshees do definitely lose a lot of value over time. The only time I would make this many Banshees is if I'm going for like a, a fast mech style. I think this is definitely not something that I usually like to do. Now, these are already doing a lot of damage. He's going to fight with the SCV, so I'm going to A-move him so I can actually kill a bunch of those SCVs. That's going to be really, really good for me. He also pu pulled the SCVs from here. Yeah, it looks like he doesn't have that many workers, but at the same time, I'm also only on 50 workers, which is really not uh, that terrifying. I think I'm going to make a couple spines. Let's see if that's going to be a good idea, because... I don't necessarily want to fight head-on all the time. I mostly want to create a little bit of chaos, fight here and there, stuff like that, right? So I think it would make sense if I get, like, a couple more spines up at the front. Uh, those are going to help me defend. Maybe even in the main base. Like, we're really at the experimental stage here, guys, so there's so much we still have to learn. Can I get a couple spines a little bit deeper because the spawning pool is going to be in danger otherwise? I also think going for a fast hive is always going to be good, right? Because that means we're going to be able to get adrenal glands. Hive is actually surprisingly cheap, by the way. It's not super cheap, but I think it's... I always get it wrong. I think it's 250, 150. Which, like, normally if you think about a building that important, I think you're, you know, you're going to think about, like, a fleet beacon, for example, which is, like, 300, 200 or something like that. Um, so it, it does feel pretty cheap. Now, I only got one investor so far, which is not that great. He does have a relatively big army, but uh, thank for me, that's where the drops are going to come into play. This is going to be able to pull his army to the main base. Going to make another spine over here. And then when his army is in the main base, I'll run these next links into his third. And notice how I'm playing it a lot more, like in some way, a lot more.
more chill, right? Like, I, I'm not trying to, like, do a lot of stuff with the investors. I'm really trying to build up my own stuff before I, you know, I mess it all up. And now... Okay, he didn't actually take this base yet. I was really hoping we would be able to get uh, a ton of units there. I'm going to be able to get one tank, at least. That's going to be quite nice. Probably run away after that. Or maybe focus fire the marines so the splash damage from the tanks kills them. I'm going to lose these overlords. So the opponent does not have... Oh, I... That's so stupid. Because in my head, they were they were dropping units. I completely forgot that I was going to lose supply there. Okay, that's actually a very amateuristic mistake. I can't lie about it. That's, uh, that's a little silly. I was like, why am I supply blocked? <laughs> Me sending freaking four overlords to the opponent's base to die. Uh, slight, slightly my bad, guys. Slightly my bad. Could have done a little bit better there. But I think I'm going to continue with the gameplay that I've been doing so far. I'm just going to wait with my Investor Spine at home and just keep doing these attacks into his base. I actually really like this uh, this way to play because I'm getting really good upgrades behind it. I have like, a, Wait, did I kill that? There's no way I killed that, right? He must have lifted it away. If, if I killed that, Zerglings are even better than I thought they were, which I don't think is possible. So <laughs> I'm pretty sure he flew it away. Now, is it time for Neural? I think we're going to get Neural just in case. He's going to push us, push us with enough siege tanks to kind of mess up our spine crawlers. I think that's where Neural is totally going to come into play here. I also don't really like saying this. You guys know me. I don't really like saying this, but we might have to focus a bit more on our creep spread for this series because normally I don't spread creep at all. Like quite literally, pretty much not at all. Uh, but I feel like for this series, I really need it. I need my, you know, the speed for my units, especially when investors are going to run away. I need the extra vision because it's going to be pretty easy for me to die and stuff. So uh, yeah, this is sadly for me. My uh, my reign of not spreading creep has ended, and I think we are going to have to start spreading a little bit more creeper. Look at these queens with full energy. A, a pro Zerg player would be disgusted right now. If there's any pro Zerg players watching, I'm sure they would be absolutely disgusted. Now, oh, no, wait. Oh, no, I was going to say I shouldn't do this because I'm going to do him a favor. That command center was misplaced. At least I think it was. Uh, so it could be that he fixed it because of me. It's also possible that he didn't fix it still, by the way. But I think there's a decent chance that he did, did fix it because of me. I'm going to go for a Nidus, and I'm just going to start spreading my Overlords everywhere. Like, th this game, I'm really focusing on getting my perfect setup going, you know? Like, I need to figure out what the perfect setup is for this. Oh, wait! Guys, I actually have an awesome play in mind that I remember seeing from Solki, who was the best Zerg in 2023. And that is that he would just burrow a Zergling everywhere. Not not to, like, ambush him or anything, but just to have perfect vision. And that is that is honestly a fantastic strategy. Uh, that is super cool. Because I, I guess I really need to burrow one everywhere. It's pretty hard to select one when they're running like that. There we go. Um, oh, I did it again. <laughs> it's not looking very smooth so far, guys, but that's okay. Okay, let me get a ton more spines. I guess I don't have to be too afraid of battle cruisers, but I do need to be afraid a little bit because... Like, investors are super good against BCs, but it's mostly because you have support units with them, right? Like, if you have Corruptors in particular, uh, those are going to be way, way better. And I have six Queens and no Spore. So maybe... You know what I'm going to do, guys? This is just preemptive. I actually really like... I, I love so many things I'm doing in this game. This is just preemptive. I'm going to make a couple Spores here, just so I have a place to teleport the Battlecruisers to if I Neural them. I, th I think that's a really cool idea. Okay, so I have a bunch of links in here. Let me see if I can, uh, you know, bait him just a little bit. And then I'm going to put down a Nidus right on the edge. Like, he's expecting drops. He's not expecting another Nidus, luckily for me. Let's see if I can... Oh, I can maybe fight this, because I saw he had bad upgrades before. Ah, uh, he does have a two... Yeah, I have to say, he's been responding really well to everything. Like, his responses have been fast. I did lose a couple Zerglings there. I think it might be time for me to move out with a couple of these investors. My bases are getting reasonably saturated. 67 drones is not exactly where I want to be at, but it's also not that bad. So I still have the units in the Nidus. I think that is going to be uh, pretty useful for later. Like, we never know when he's going to, you know, slip up on the defense there. And let's see if I can... Oh, wait, wait, guys. If he doesn't have a turret, I can neural the tanks. I didn't actually think about this before. Let's see. Oh, no, please. Stop stop walking forward. Oh, no, he doesn't have a turret. Oh, that's unfortunate. That would have been so nice. He's going to be able to kill these. I'm just going to put down another Nidus just in case he is not quite uh, ready for it. Here we go. Let me just kill these. Do a little bit of a fungal. I have a lot of Zerglings, so these Zerglings are going to take care of it. The Banshees did kill that, unfortunately. Okay, so my army is literally just infestors here, pretty much. Like, uh, there's just a couple Zerglings. But if I keep fungling everything like this... Oh, my God, this chain fungal is actually pretty disgusting, not going to lie. I'm going to take over the Banshees. There we go. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, am I actually killing his entire army with freaking fungals? I think I might be. 
Like, this entire army is dying to fungals right now. Like, this is freaking insane. Look at this. Well, I guess the Banshees are doing a little bit of work. Okay, let's give respect to the Banshees. Now, I think my opponent's probably going to reconsider making that many Marines because they all died very, very fast. I'm a little sad that he made the uh, turret over here because, I mean, I was kind of messing up the micro anyway, to be fair. We could all see that. But if I could uh, neural the siege tanks, uh, I, don't, I don't think he has that many, actually. But if I could, that would be an instant massive fight. Now, notice this game, I didn't make macro hatches, but the money still flowed pretty well. At this point, I definitely feel like I need a macro hatch, but before, it actually seemed pretty alright. Now, I'm not sure if he's gonna have a turret at the front. Let's see if we can figure that out. Like, I don't necessarily just wanna uh, fungal the army. Oh, there we go. These fungus are gonna be so big. Now, should, wait, should I take his medevacs? No, that's a little dumb, right? I think they can medevacs. I'm just gonna take the banshees again. <laughs> this guy is so stupid. Wait, I'm gonna take his Vikings. Can I take both? I got, I got both of the Vikings. These are gonna help me against the. No, wait, he has freaking. Uh, what's it called? He has freaking cloak. Okay, let's see. I, I need, I need the Vikings so I can kill the Banshees. <laughs> this is so stupid. Do your thing, Viking. Let's go. And then after he's done, wait, I can land it and kill it. Oh my goodness, the place. There we go. I was like, I need another fungal, but I actually don't. I can't just land it and kill it. That is absolutely awesome. Now, I think it's a good time for me to try the Knight is in the main again. Um, I, I, I don't have that much energy, right? If, if I'm smart, which I'm usually not, but if I'm smart, then I think... I would wait for these to regain energy, but I also just kind of want to try and go for it at the same time. I still have a lot of links up there. There's something moving over here. The vision of my army being pretty good here, which is nice. That could, could have been a meta... Did he boost straight through? No, he didn't. Okay, that would have been freaking brutal. And let's see if we can get some more disgusting fungals. Like, the fungals have been so MVP here. Look at this. Oh, I got the medivacs. I think I'm going to be able to kill all of those medivacs with the fungals, guys. Look at this. Fungal doesn't do that much damage anymore. But I got the medivacs, which is awesome. Now, the overlords, I do want those to go into the main. He's actually chasing me, which I think is very brave, considering I just killed all of his medevacs and how much damage he's really been taking from these. Man, the investor looking like an absolute monster unit in this like, chase. Holy cow. Now I'm gonna pop down another Nidus in the main. He does have a couple more starports, which is kind of surprising. I guess I'm just gonna put creep all over his base, because that feels like a, a very zergy thing to do. I think... Oh, I didn't realize that mine initially. I, do, I did, There's one tank down here. I don't quite know exactly where it is. Oh, there it is. Let's see if I can take it over. Okay, let me take down that tank. Oh, the, the investors that have neural energy are so far in the back. So I got that one tank. I'm going to put down another Nidus over here. I'm going to try to put my reinforcements links in the Nidus. Oh, I need to make sure to kill this before it shoots my freaking investors to death. Yo, this guy really has had good... Like, we have to compliment him, guys. He really has good multitasking with res responding to the Nidus. The fungals are still going absolutely ham. Let's see. No, the links are actually kind of stuck there for a bit. I'm going to put down another Nidus. Oh, these uh, are also going to be trapped here. Uh, I don't have another fungal here. I would have unburrowed those to fungal but I don't think I had another one. The Zergling is not doing quite enough damage for now, and it looks like we have to back off. Wait, do I have enough fungal now? No! Oh, I thought it was barely gonna have a fungal, but it didn't. Oh, that Wither Mine actually kind of owned me there. That's unfortunate. Uh, let's see if I can put down another Nidus without him realizing. I think there's really a lot of Zerglings in there. Well, he's, been, he's just been doing too good of a job defending these, I swear. I'm not kidding. I think there's gonna be Grandmasters that are gonna be worse at defending these Nidus's than this guy. Like, look at him! He just keeps seeing them all the time. Like, he's crazy. Uh, but that does leave his third base exposed and now we're finally gonna get in here and do a crazy amount of damage i feel like we've been on the verge of this for a long time but now we're finally here now i kind of wish i had high ground vision because then let me fungal that real quick then i could kill the siege tank i think we're finally gonna get a night is going up thank goodness it took a really long time wait i'm gonna try to sneak this infester up there so i can neural that siege tank oh uh, no actually i, I uh, selected it back with a double click that's a mistake and finally we got something up there can i burrow these oh no this freaking no no, I don't have Neural. Oh, there's no energy for a Neural there. So we do get the Knight is up finally. That's going to be so many links in the main base, especially with Adrenal Glands doing a crazy amount of damage. I think the macro has been pretty decent as well behind it. Now I'm going to try swarm it a little bit more at the front with these Zerglings. I hope he stops attacking the Nidus. Seems like he's still... Okay, no. I, it looked like he was attacking the Nidus, but he stopped at some point. That's, that's nice for us. Let's see. Can I get on top of this tank? I do have a Neural with these Zerglings, so I think we're finally going to be able to get that tank. There we go. I don't have any more links 
things in the night. It's actually kind of surprised that he managed to clear that up so fast. Okay, let me do some fungals just so I can take over these banshees. I think that is <laughs> the most sensible thing I can do. Which sounds really dumb to say, by the way, I have to admit. Kind of hard to kill these banshees, actually, when they're on the ledge. But I think my zerglings are going to be doing more than enough work. I can also, at this point, you know what? I'll just put my queens in the night. Is maybe I'll bring a couple overseers as well. Here we go. Let's just morph these into overseers. And my opponent's base has been annihilated. It took us a long time, but we did finally break him. Now, I do think this game shows how hard it is to deal with these turtly terrans, right? Because this was a, a very slow death here. But the fungals definitely incredibly valuable. Oh, I'm out of energy again. Incredibly valuable, the fungals. Like, the fungals were definitely the MVP 100%. Let me pop out the queens over there. I'm, I'm very tempted to just automatically start some more queens, but I guess it's just not happening. Um, wait, why are they... Oh, I thought they weren't unburrowing for some weird reason. Let's see, I really want to kill these banshees with the infestors because you just never see that. I think they're... Oh, okay. I, thought, I was going to say they're barely going to live, but no. My opponent is... Wait, where is he? Huh? I, I didn't see him lift away any buildings. I was, I'm was i so surprised. I thought I, I just thought I saw the entire map. Oh, there's a building over here. Okay, I guess we'll make a spire. I'll write a question mark to him, but I'm pretty sure he's going to wait it out. Let's just see if he does anything for five seconds. Otherwise, I'm not going to make you guys watch all of this because, you know, waiting for me to get a spire to kill, that's going to take quite a while. Maybe I can snipe it with the queens, actually. That'd be quite nice. But it's going to take a long time anyway. We'll just skip forward to when I kill his buildings or when he shows some salt because that would also be pretty funny. And here we go. I've made a bunch of corruptors. I'm going to be able to kill the command center. And he's even still trying to move it, which is very surprising to me. But there we go. We beat the thirdly diamond Terran. Let's go for game number two. Right, the second game is going to be against a random player. Right, for some reason, I just had a feeling we were going to get a Zerg player. Could still be the case, of course. Uh, I still have to figure it out to play ZBZ because that's going to be freaking hectic. I actually kind of like playing Lingifester against Protoss. We just sound crazy to say because we did already lose the game against Protoss, but again, Zerg is just going to be very weird and hectic. Like, playing without Roaches in ZBZ, it's just... I mean, if you're going Mutalisk, sure, right? But otherwise, it's it's kind of hard to... How do you say that? Justify that. That's the word I was looking for. Now we're playing on Equilibrium. This map does have a gold base, which Zerg players really like to take. That's why this map is uh, considered to be good for Zerg, because Zerg players freaking love a gold base they're the only race that can take them somewhat consistently i do wonder what a map would look like if it has like a an easy gold base to take for every race because i feel like Terran players take it sometimes on some maps like if you guys remember golden wall maybe Terran players would always take the gold base on that map uh protoss players i feel like they only take it against Terran. Like, Protoss is really good on gold-based maps, but only against Terran, so that makes it kind of weird. Like, I'm not quite sure uh, what a gold-based map would look like where every race likes taking the gold base and it's balanced. That might be, like, the hardest thing yet to find. Now, I can't really decide on a strategy yet, though. The basis of the last game I thought was pretty cool. Like, that was the first game, like, even though it was pretty drawn out, I think in the end it was, like, 20 minutes or so, even though it was pretty drawn out, it did feel for the first time like I was really in control. Like, I don't think he really could have attacked us. We had, uh, I think, six spine crawlers plus two or three in the main. We had investors behind it. Our links were always on the other side of the map. We had extra links on the Nidus. I think that was the first game where I felt like I was actually in control. Now, I do wonder... Oh, he's actually a Zerg player. Wow, I can't, can't believe I was right about that. That's crazy. Now, I hope he didn't take the gold because then he's going to be ahead against me. Um, I, there was one more thing I wanted to say, but now I forgot what it was. Uh, I guess, yeah, it probably doesn't matter. We'll think of it later. Or maybe you guys know me well enough that you can finish my thought anyway. So we're playing a ZBZ here. Uh, investors in ZBZ. I think it would be smart if I go for an early upgrade. Like either plus one armor or plus one melee. I think it it depends more on if your opponent goes for roaches or bailings. If they go for bailings, you always want plus one armor because then bailings don't sh one shot links anymore. If they go roaches, I think you definitely want plus one attack. Plus one armor could help to prevent roaches from two shotting you when they have plus one attack. Uh, but I think you're still gonna want to go for the surround and get like as much damage output as you possibly can. Uh, so I think I'm gonna go for the plus one attack here and then i guess we kind of hope that he's not playing bailings or or something like that right <laughs> sounds kind of weird to just pray for that but it is what it is so he's a couple zerglings out already that's more than a couple zerglings he didn't take the gold which i am quite happy to see because i'm pretty sure you're just ahead if you take the gold against no gold in zvz i'm pretty sure you're just ahead by basis and you just have to kind of or by default i want to say you just kind of have to defend and make sure you don't die which it can, can be tricky. It's not always tricky, but it can be. 
So I have uh, two queens. I think I still want to take a third base relatively fast, but my opponent has six circlings. And I only made four, I believe. So I can't... Or do I only have two? I might have only made two Zerglings. That'd be a little bit of a mistake. Uh, I mean, I, we're still going to be completely fine, of course, because it is just a couple links, but uh, that is a small mistake. Didn't quite micro that drone perfectly, so that is another small mistake, but that is all right. He is going to find my upgrade. Uh, I'm going to go for the plus one melee here. It seems like my opponent hasn't taken a third base yet. Maybe I should be going for the gold base now. I guess I might as well at this point. Now, do I keep mining gas or not? That's the question, right? And how much gas do I keep mining? Like, the thing here is... Um, I, I, my investors are pretty much my only anti-air together with queens. My opponent looks like he might be going for Mitas. Uh, could also just be a guess, but I'm not 100% sure he actually took that third base. Let's see if he did. If he doesn't have the third base, it's going to be something two base, which could be either um, mass roaches. Oh, he's just going to trial in me with a bunch of zerglings. Um, I don't have that many zerglings yet. Like, keep in mind, I am going for the plus one and the gold base at the same time. At this point, I would kind of like it if he um, went for the gold base instead so I could survive for sure. I'm going to be able to kill two drones with this, I think. Unless he makes a spore with it or a gas. No, he doesn't make the gas yet it's good to see that he's making more drones by the way that's gonna make it a little more comfortable for me and keep in mind guys he doesn't have speed on the zerg okay to get it now i was gonna say this is gonna be a really good fight uh because he doesn't have speed so i decide when to fight but in the end it is still gonna be extremely good and now i have the extra queen i'm not quite 100 sure what i have to be worried about here like i think making the lair would make sense he's making a roach warren now i I kind of doubt he kept making units. Like, we saw him make drones. I don't have my plus one attack yet, sadly. Oh, he didn't actually wall it off. No, he was waiting for a little bit too long to wall it off. He does have a couple circlings, but I feel like... Okay, we didn't actually trade as well as I thought we would. It's because a couple more links were behind. Plus one links, no. It's actually not going to finish in time. Oh, that sucks. I was kind of trying to bait him to not wall, so then we could get the plus one fight. That is also going to be quite nice. Plus one's going to finish in nine seconds. He's going to try to wall it off now. I'm going to run into the main. Oh, this is really nice. I'm going to be able to run into the main, and then the upgrade's going to finish, and I'll be able to fight with plus one attack. Yeah, I think plus one attack is finished right now. Look at these links. These links are doing absolutely fantastic against these drones as well. That was an absolutely perfect timing. And then, I mean, I have the gold base behind it. I do think I should probably get a couple... Oh, wait, this... I forgot about this. That's a freaking rich gas. I don't even need these gases. I have a freaking... These zerglings are still winning against everything? Oh, my God. Plus one links are actually freaking crazy, huh? How are they still beating everything here? I thought those would be long dead. Didn't even pay attention to them anymore. And there we go. That is game number two in the books of the day, at least. 35 zerglings against zero. Unit efficiency almost double, which is always quite nice for a ZVZ. And I feel like today we managed to put a little bit of a basis for our future macro games. I think for the ZVZ, we didn't really get to see this much. This does feel like something I want to play, though. The hardest thing is kind of transitioning to the macro game, especially if there's mutas, because then I need to get an infestation bit faster, which I clearly cannot afford, just so I can fungal the mutas and hold on with my uh, with my six queens and a couple spore colors while counterattacking with links against roaches. I just play mass links like this. Maybe I even get double upgrades, which is very crazy in the ZVZ, but I might just have to do that. But the ZVZ BT, I liked it too, and I'm gonna leave it at that for today. It's my first time back to StarCraft after a little bit of a, a little bit of an absence. I think it's been about a week and a half since I uploaded StarCraft video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to get a video, like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see y'all for the next one. Adios.